day. The motorcycle maker reported better than expected first quarter profit, raised its sales outlook for the year. Joining us to talk about Hog is Wedbush Securities Managing Director of Equity Research, James Hardiman, who has an outperform rating on the stock, a $43 target. I guess uh, we're, we're already there. Um, James, why has Harley been doing so well? They, they've got a lot of new product out. They had a ton of marketing from a long way up. Is that what um, the drive is, this diversification? No, not at all. I, I would argue that the, the new product angle here is is a small portion of the story. The, the bigger uh, context here is that this is a company that's been struggling for, for years. Um, they've, they've lost market share. Um, they're in a five or six year run of negative retail sales. Uh, 2020, I would argue, was a very good year for them. They brought in a new management team who really reset the business reset the story, reset the pipeline, uh, maybe most notably. Um, but you didn't really see uh, a lot of the, the benefits in the, in the actual 2020 numbers. It was more seen in terms of inventory cleanup uh, and the like. This is the first, the, the first quarter of this year was the first quarter we've really started to see uh, all of the benefits of, of the wheel set in motion uh, a year ago or, or more. Um, and they beat on pretty much every metric. Uh, retail sales were better, uh, pricing was better, uh, margins were substantially better, and their their finance unit uh, was through the roof. Um, and so for a company it's a big, that, yeah, go ahead. It's a big ship to turn, arguably, um, you know, so I guess it, it takes them a while to, to get around it, but it's interesting that they've had these market share losses. You know, I have a Sportster 48, which is fun to tool around on, but if I want to do any real cruising, I get on my Ducati X Diavel, which, you know, came into the market, uh, was really one of the first European challengers to, to, to big Harley V twins. Um, yeah. Are they able to grab some of that market share back? Yes, I think they, I think they will, and I think 2021 is likely to be the beginning of that. I, I think their share issues are twofold. Um, a, they weren't in a number of categories that were outperforming the rest of the market. Uh, adventure touring, if you're familiar with that category, was one of them. They're addressing that this year with their new yep. uh, Pan America bike. Um, Pan America, so that, yeah. That's a piece of it. The other piece is, is just, I think, a lack of focus. Um, they were trying to be too many things to too many people. Um, they, they put a lot of, of time and money and effort into the entry level bikes that, that never really uh, right. delivered from a profit perspective. They've refocused their, their product offering, James, they've refocused the geography, um, and I think they're gonna do much better in their, in their bread and butter segments. James, real quick, what about um, the pandemic? You know, I go into BMW shops here, Ducati shops, they're selling like hotcakes because of the pandemic. Just got 20 seconds, is that a big boost right now? Oh, it's a huge boost. Yeah, I mean, this is the type of activity that uh, people have felt is a, is a safe, fun, um, uh, socially distant activity. And again, you may not have seen yep. it in their, their reported numbers last year, but it really helped them clean up a lot of the issues that they had previously. James, thanks very much. We'll have to get you back on with some more time. James Hardeman, Managing Director of Equity Research at Wedbush, coming to us from Shaker Heights in the great state of Ohio. Coming up, a possible bidding war in the railroad sector. This is Bloomberg. We started with computers. We didn't stop at computers. We didn't stop at storage or cloud. We kept going working with our customers to enable a kind of technology that can guide an astronaut back to safety and help make a hospital.